with ice swimming, no matter how fast you are, what your body composition is, how big you are, how small you are, when you're in water that cold, the end result is your body is going to fail, it's going to start to shut down, protect your organs. The ultimate reality is you're, you're going to die in the water. When I think about that, I think about what on earth am I doing? This is, <laughs> this is crazy. Why am I doing a sport where that actually is the end reality if you go too far? There was one person several years ago, they looked me dead in the eye and they said, with your body shape the way it is, you're never going to be able to achieve your goals. You know that, right? I know I don't have the standard size that you would expect to see potentially from some other athletes, but I have work ethic, drive, I have passion for my sport and what I do. I can achieve my goals if I put in the work no matter what physical shape I'm in. Some people get in and go. I feel like I'm already losing breath and not even in there. I'm a stander. I need about four and a half, five minutes of just standing around. Part. It just hurts so bad. This is really cold. I don't like it. What am I doing? It is the pain. It's gotta the be pain is so awful. Relax. Control your breath. You're okay. So bad. It's a shock to the system. Essentially, your, your body goes numb and you can't really feel anything. Ice Mile is swimming in water of 5 degrees Celsius or below, which is 41 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a lot of rules and regulations on, on the type of course that you have to have to make it safe just because of the inherent danger in nature of the event. The ice mile for this year was an extreme ice swim. I wanted the U.S. distance record. 2.25 kilometer swim in 39 degree water in 51 minutes and 26 seconds. There's reasons people don't do these distances because they're not inherently safe. You are putting yourself into a self-induced hypothermic state. I'm numb. All right. I'm going, but I'm numb. All right. I'm doing it. I'm having a journey in ice swimming, and I feel like I can do more. Really, my focal point for everything open water is the notorious Alki swimmers. We're all bonded together through our love of water. And we have such a big bikini culture at Alki, too is really just a sense of community that I've gotten at Alki with respect specifically to female body image. Cold water swimmers have a very different body shape than, you know, other athletes, professional athletes you might see. Yeah. Okay, it's time. I have a lot of extra layers to give me the body that I need to do this. Whatever body you have is the body you're meant to have, and the water doesn't care at the end of the day. The water is going to support you. The Alki swimmers really support that. Another reason why I do what I do and want to include people, I want to be the person to say, look at me. I'm not your standard size. I don't have your stereotypical athlete body. I'm a shorter, pudgy girl, and I'm also a national distance record holder, so there we go. <laughs> Proof is in the pudding, so they say. <laughs>